Hello, welcome. Bruce Fulton here, University of Arizona School of Information. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tips. Uh, the first one is how to run uh, Notepad uh, as administrator. Uh, you're going to need to do that if you want to change system files because system files are normally write protected. Uh, they can only be changed uh, if you run a program to change them as administrator. Uh, normally, Notepad uh, does not allow you to change system files. So, uh, we're going to show you how to find Notepad on Windows 10 uh, and uh, run that as an administrator. You can either do that as a one-off or I'm going to show you how to change Notepad permanently uh, to be able to run that as administrator. Uh, the second thing I'm going to show you is how to change some defaults to make finding those system files a little bit easier. Uh, and that involves uh, using File Explorer uh, to change some standard defaults on how. Uh, files are displayed in the uh, System Explorer window. All right, so let's get started. The first thing to do is uh, figure out how to run uh, a Notepad as an administrator. Uh, it's easy enough to do it uh, one time. Uh, a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, first of all, let's just go ahead and right click on the window. Uh, and then we can do one of two things. Uh, we can either get to a command prompt. Uh, there should be a command prompt admin here. Uh, we can click on that. Uh, what you're not seeing here is the prompt uh, to allow this app to make changes to your device because we're uh, uh, running something as administrator, so I'm going to click yes on that. Let me bring the command window down. Once we have a command prompt, uh, all you need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, type in notepad, uh, and it brings up notepad. So that's easy enough. Uh, if you just want to do that one time, uh, there you go. Uh, a couple of other ways we can go about this. Uh, let me close that out uh, again. Uh, Right-clicking on the uh, window, uh, we can do a search, uh, and we can search for Notepad. Uh, we see it here, Notepad. Again, I can right-click on this, uh, run as an administrator. Uh, again, the window to make changes to your computer, I'm clicking on uh, uh, Yes. Uh, and now we're again running uh, Notepad uh, one time as an administrator. So those are two ways that you can get at that. Uh, running as administrator at uh, one time. There's another trick that we can do, however. Uh, if you do this frequently, uh, you should do this with some caution because, of course, uh, running as administrator, uh, you can mess up your system uh, and you want to think about whether or not you want to do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and right-click on, on the window again. Uh, we can do our search uh, as before. Uh, we can search for Notepad. Uh, and here it is. I can right-click on it. Uh, and uh, this time, uh, instead of running as administrator, we can open the file location. Uh, here's the file location. Uh, again, now instead of running it, I'm going to right-click on it. Uh, I'm going to go to Properties. Uh, and when the Property window comes up here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Advanced. And when Advanced comes up, I can check this box, Run as Administrator. Uh, when I save OK on this, um, note that this option allows you to run this uh, shortcut. Uh, as an administrator while protecting uh, your computer from unauthorized activity. Basically what that says is uh, when I run this application, it's going to run it as an administrator. I can click OK, uh, click OK again. Uh, and now what I can do uh, is I can um, uh, pin this to the start. I've already uh, pinned it to my start menu. I can pin this to the start menu uh, and then um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this since I've already done this. Uh, then when I right-click um, uh, on the uh, uh, window, get to the Start menu, uh, here I've got Notepad here, and when I click on this now, uh, this is going to run Notepad uh, each time I run it uh, as administrator. Uh, so there's my first tip for you, uh, running Notepad uh, as administrator so you can get at uh, system files. Now my second tip, if you're going to be editing system files, uh, is to go ahead and make some changes to your file explorer. Uh, to get to File Explorer uh, here, uh, we can run File Explorer. Uh, let me open this up. Uh, and you're going to want to make some changes uh, to the View menu so you can find system files easily and so you make sure that you understand the file extensions you're talking about. So let me select the View tab. Uh, and you're going to want to check the uh, file name extensions and the hidden items. Uh, these are going to allow you to find the hidden items that are in the uh, system files. Uh, and also to check and make sure that you understand what file uh, name extensions you're dealing with. Now, uh, you can run that one off like this, uh, but it's best to go ahead and change uh, the um, uh, folder and search options by going here to the Options drop-down, uh, Change Folder and Search Options. Let me bring this window up. 
uh, there are a few that you want to change on a permanent basis. So let's go over here to the uh, view menu and I'll show you which ones you want to change uh, to make life easier for you. Uh, first of all, uh, hidden files and folders. Uh, you want to show hidden files, folders, and drives, so let's make sure that's checked. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Uh, so we want to make sure that uh, that's uh, um, uh, unchecked. Uh, and then uh, the other thing we want to do uh, is we want to unhide uh, the... Uh, let me bring down the warning message so you can see what it's telling you. Uh, we want to um, uh, unhide protected uh, operating system files. Uh, and we uh, see this warning message here. You've chosen to display uh, protected operating system files. Uh, these files are required to uh, start and run Windows. Uh, deleting or editing them can make your computer system inoperable. Yes, that's true. Uh, I assume the reason you're doing this is because you know the risks. Uh, you need to do this, so we're going to say yes. Uh, and then we're going to unhide those. So uh, again, this is for people who know what they're doing or you've read a, a tech bug, a tech service a bug report or something, you need to make some edit. Uh, now, um, for most system files, you do want to leave them alone, uh, but there are a couple of files, and I'm going to show you one a system file, for example, that uh, you may very well want to edit. It's perfectly fine to edit it. So uh, making these changes is going to make it possible for you to find those files uh, edit them uh, and uh, um, uh, make the changes you need to do. So I'm going to um, go ahead and click Apply to Folders. Uh, that's going to apply these, uh, as it says, to all folders of this type. So uh, that's going to make the change not only to the folder I'm looking at, but to uh, all similar folders. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, and now we've made that change. So two things we've accomplished. We've uh, allowed us to run uh, Notepad. Uh, as administrator so we can make the change to system files uh, and we've made the system files visible and their extensions visible so we know what we're looking at. I'm going to run through a quick example of a system file that you may want to edit. That's the hosts file. Uh, that allows you to add an IP address uh, and associate it with the host name so you can use the host name uh, as an alias for the IP address. Sometimes you want to do that if you're playing with virtual machines, for example. Uh, and that's in uh, the Windows uh, System 32 uh, drivers uh, uh, directory. Uh, so on my system, let me find that for you. Uh, give me a second to bring that up. Uh, of course, we need to run first Notepad. Uh, so I'm going to run Notepad uh, now as system. Uh, it's asking me if I want to allow the, the app to make changes. I'm going to say yes. We're going to go File. We're going to go Open. Uh, because uh, uh, this is not a text file, I need to allow Notepad uh, let me move this over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make this open all files, uh, and then I'm going to navigate uh, to uh, Windows, uh, System32, Drivers, etc. Uh, and the host file is here. Notice it doesn't have an extension on it. We know this because uh, we checked the box to show the extensions in our Windows uh, uh, Explorer view. I'm going to open this up. This is our host file. Here you can see how you can add uh, an IP address, uh, and then you can add uh, an ex a friendly name uh, or a host name. Uh, this allows uh, you to use that uh, friendly uh, or host name uh, and associate that with an IP address. I can then save this, uh, and because we're running this uh, as an administrator, uh, it allows us to make the edit to that file. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we've changed the uh, uh, privileges to uh, run Notepad as an administrator. Uh, we've changed our view to allow us to see and edit uh, some of these system files. I hope this has been helpful to you. Look forward to your comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching.